Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the interests of uh, ensuring that this bill is passed today, I'm going to take a somewhat shorter call than I would otherwise have done. Um, this bill, Mr. Speaker, is one that uh, takes New Zealand a substantial step forward uh, towards the kind of drug law reform that we need. Uh, it makes the emphasis on uh, in reducing harm, improving health, uh, and, th and that being the point of the regulation rather than criminal justice. It places the emphasis very much on the supply chain uh, for these substances rather than on the end user. It makes the regulatory response proportional uh, to, to the risk that is associated with a, a particular substance. Those are all good things. Those are all things that we need to apply to drugs, both currently legal and illegal, uh, across the board. I look forward to the opportunity of doing that. Uh, it could have been a great bill, Mr Speaker. Not quite, Barbara. It could have been a great bill, but there are three major problems that, that uh, hold it back from that, and I'm disappointed that the government um, either has not understood its own bill or has, has needed to appease different factions within, within its own camp has resulted in, in these problems. One is the issue of animal testing about which I have spoken and colleagues have spoken about across, across the House, and I acknowledge John Banks' particularly passionate support for, for that particular issue. Um, the Green Party's SOP on the bill would have ensured the same level of protection for humans, but would also have resulted in protecting animals from harm, and it's a source of considerable regret that the House did not take the opportunity uh, to ensure that, that occurred. The issue of possession, introduced at almost the last moment by, by, by the Government, uh, against the advice of the Ministry of Health, uh, in, in uh, contradiction of the evidence that we've seen in relation to the Misuse of Drugs Act and indeed the temporary prohibition notices that, that uh, possession offences don't assist with the purpose of this bill, reducing harm, promoting health. Uh, and, and what's more, as I demonstrated in the committee stage, uh, those possession offences that are in this bill are essentially not only uh, more hassle than any benefit that they provide at all, but also they are entirely unworkable. And finally, Mr Speaker, if I thought possession was last minute, actually this is last second amendment of the, of the bill by the Minister to, to drastically shorten the transition period um, for, for the bill. Because the result of that, Mr Speaker, is uh, that the very careful balance that was struck uh, by the Select Committee between uh, trying to, uh, trying to uh, move as quickly as possible to regulate these substances in, in the way that I've described, and at the same time to ensure that uh, the, the flood of uh, substances that uh, have been legal um, uh, but, but uh, w will not be legal under the new regime does not result in an underground market for those substances, that that balance has been entirely overturned on the basis of the Ministers attending a meeting in Invercargill. And, and I believe, uh, Mr Speaker, that that will come back to bite uh, the Minister, come back to bite the Government, and I urge the Minister to try to find some way of ameliorating the problem that he has created. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Dr Paul Hutchison. Great pleasure to stand and support the psychoactive substance.